One of the more beautiful expressions that we have about the birth of Jesus comes in the Gospel of John, which does not give us the infancy narrative of Jesus' birth, but rather uses a very important and beautiful Semitic phrase. It says that when the Word became flesh, God pitched his tent in our midst. God pitched his tent in our midst. And today as we continue rejoicing at the birth of the Savior and that the Lord has dwelt in our midst, we see that pitching his tent was not just about coming into the world, but it's also about coming into a family. And in that way, all families are blessed because that is where God dwells. That is where we are to recognize the presence of God active in our life within our own families. And it is in those moments that we find a cause for joy. And so what is it about a child being born into a family that brings joy? Well, first of all, we all know that as a child matures and grows, we begin to see the different stages of how they begin to come into their own. They begin to crawl a little bit, be able to take solid foods rather than just being nursed. And also one day when they take their first steps and walk in and how they have their first words uttered. There is joy that comes to a family as we see a child grow in the various stages that are there. And that is the case, I think, with how Jesus and Mary enjoyed Jesus as their child, seeing that God had pitched his tent in their midst through all of those moments of growth. But we also see here that Mary and Joseph go to Jerusalem in order to present their child to the temple. It's a way of how, seeing how a family interacts with the rest of society in which there is something about children that uh, allows a family to be engaged with a wider society. How many parents have told me over the years that some of their best friends that they have in life are the parents of children who are friends of their own child, child or children. Children bring us into that wider arena of life and introduce us to so many people. There is a great joy that children bring in as they bring us to meet other people. And I also know that many families during this time of the year take up different projects in their parishes or in society to work in soup kitchens or to help on Christmas Day with feeding the poor. There is something about how a family comes together and offers something new, but also how a family is enriched as their child introduces them to a broader audience of people. And finally, we see that a child gives joy to a family that's introduced into the family when they begin to strike out on their own. I know so many instances of parents being so proud of their children, taking on new responsibilities. They see, for instance, as their children come home from the first year of college, how in that very short time they have changed, maybe growing in a greater sense of responsibility for their lives, maturing in a way. Seeing that they're really identifying themselves in their own path, and that brings great joy to a family. So it's important as we celebrate this feast of Christmas in this octave, in these days between Christmas and this first day of the year, to really see how God is within the, this, this wonderful celebration we have in this Sunday uh, following Christmas, the opportunity to celebrate family life and the joy that family life brings us because it is precisely there that God has pitched his tent, not just in the world, but in our families. And so let us celebrate the great gift of family life and of children as we mark the stages of their growth, 
as we see how they broaden our perspective in introducing to uh, us to other people, but also as we can take great joy in seeing them grow in wisdom, age, and grace before God and others as we hear about the child Jesus today. It is an opportunity to have a deeper appreciation of what Christmas is about, the birth of the Savior into the world, the one who has pitched his tent in our midst, pitched his tent in a family. <laughs> 